Hi everyone, my name is Nas. I have an Etsy shop with the name Sewing Panda Patterns, where I sell digital sewing patterns. I'll leave the link of this dress in the description box. You can purchase it from there. Once you purchase, you will get PDF files to your email from Etsy, and also you can find in your Etsy orders. You will have A4 size and letter size PDF files along with README instructions. In that, you can see all the information related to choosing size, printing, and cutting fabric. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to stitch this with a clear and step-by-step -step instructions, so there won't be any written sewing instructions. For this we need pattern pieces and buttons. Here I am using fabric buttons but it's up to you. So first I am going to stitch the bus dots then press them. Do the same thing with the back waist dots. Next I am going to attach the fusing to the neck facings. Then I am going to finish the raw edges with a serger. But you can use the zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. Now attach the back neck facing to the back bodice with the right sides together. Then stitch it with 1cm seam allowance. Repeat the same thing with front bodies. Then clip the notches, make sure it doesn't cut beyond the thread. And for the front, since it's not curvy, so just trim on the angles or corners. Next turn it right side then give a top stitch on the facing then press them properly.
So next I'm going to attach both the shoulders with the right sides together with a 1.25 cm seam allowance then overlock it. And as you can see front shoulder would be a little bit larger than the back but when you stitch it it will set properly. Next coming to the sleeve, we have sleeve, sleeve curve and fusing. So first I'm going to attach the fusing to the sleeve curve. Now fold it half then press it. And fold 1cm again then press it. Do the same thing on the other side. With this, the sleeve cuff is ready to attach. Next, I am going to stitch two rows at bottom of the sleeve with a large stitch length to make gathers. Then, I am going to continue the same thing on the sleeve head between two notches. Now pull the thread and make gathers. Here I have already made one as you can see. We need to move the gathers at the middle then match the width with the sleeve cuff width. Then attach it on the back side of the sleeve with 1cm seam allowance. Next trim the excess fabric and turn it right side then give a top stitch. Repeat the same thing with other sleeve. And also pull the exposed large stitches with the seam ripper once the sleeve is done. Next pull the thread at the sleeve head and make gathers and attach it to the sleeve by matching front, back and center notches. Then stitch it with 1cm seam allowance then overlock it. Repeat the same thing with other sleeve.
Next, I'm going to stitch the side seams with 1.25 cm seam allowance, then overlock it. Coming to the skirt part, these are two front panels. So first I'm going to attach the fusing to the center front facings. Then I'm going to finish it with an overlocker. Next attach the facing to the center front panel with 1cm seam allowance. And also attach the pockets at side seam on the notch with 1.25 cm seam allowance with right sides together. Here I'm going to give a top stitch on the facing. Here you can see I'm attaching the pockets then giving a top stitch then I press them. Repeat the same thing with the other side front panel. This is back panel and here also I'm going to attach the pockets at side seams on the notches then stitch it with 1.25 cm seam allowance and give a top stitch then press them. Next attach both front and back panels at side seams with the right sides together along the pockets then stitch it with 1.25 cm seam allowance then overlock it. Then press the seams towards the right side along the pockets. Next I'm going to stitch two rows with a large stitch length on the skirt waist for making gathers.
Now pull the thread and make gathers until it matches to the body space. Then attach it to the bodice to the skirt with right sides together by matching side seams then stitch it with 1 cm seam allowance by distributing the gathers evenly then overlock it. Next I'm going to finish the bottom hem with a 2.5 cm seam allowance. So to get perfect hem, I'm going to turn the facing to the right side and give a stitch with a 2.5 cm from the bottom raw edge on both sides. Next trim the corner and turn it other side. Now fold the hem with a half centimeter then stitch it and press it. The final step stitching buttons and button holes. Make sure to try it once on the waist fabric before you stitch. In the pattern you will get the button hole guide. Take a pin and make small holes for tracing. Then first place it on the front right side and make marks. Make sure the width should be 1.5 cm from the center front edge. Then take your ruler and join the dots. You can make the button hole with that specific footer with one step button hole option. But if you don't have that option, you can use these three options and make button holes. Next place the center front right side panel on the left side panel by overlapping 1.5 cm then make marks from the center of the button hole and stitch the buttons.
I hope you like the video and the pattern. Please give your feedback on my Etsy shop. Thank you.